Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters. Hi everyone! Welcome to another episode of Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters. This is a fifth edition live play podcast of Dungeons and Dragons. I'm Kurt, Daddy. Normally the dungeon master, but this is a special episode that we are recording for Women in Tabletop Gaming Month, which is happening in June. So don't have the specific date of when this is going to be released yet, but I imagine it'll be released fairly early on in the month, but we'll figure that out. So, I'm get to play a character today. Um, so, play. I am Sam, normally Mimi, but today I'm the Dungeon Master with a whole new story in mind. Ding. Okay, and over to my left is Daddy! You And he plays... Uh, today, I am going to be playing... Uh, a character I made. Homer. His name is Fargrim Stonehelm. The Hatter, but his nickname is Grim. His, his, he goes by Grim. He is a dwarf warlock. And he, and he has a Scottish accent. I'm, yeah, I'm working on my Scottish accent. This is my character voice I'm going to be doing for Grim. Try to be like try Willie. Not, yeah, try not, but try Groundskeeper not, Willie. Yep, that was the inspiration. Try not to break your vocal cords. So who else do we have playing? Over to um, Grim's left Daddy. is Bernie! <laughs> and she I play, play Galaxy, the wizard elf. And to my left is nobody. <laughs> yes, sadly, uh, Matt is not here with us for this episode. Because we didn't plan it. We do. Have yeah, normally we have a third player with us, but uh, <gasps> because this is a special episode and uh, Sam is going to be doing all the DMing, uh, we thought we'd, we'd keep it we keep it small and intimate today, and just have Birdie and myself being play characters. Okay, so I Sam, can discuss. So this. kick us off. This so this is kind of the introduction. Okay, so it's a was a dark and rainy night. As you walk into the town of Ashboot, there, you your boss held you assigned to find a murderer, someone who is a danger to all. <gasps> this is a mystery. Yes, it's a yes. mystery. So this is what Ashboot looks like. So Ashboot looks like a very cute town, but it looks like there recently was a fire. But they have managed to rebuild some parts of the town. So, woo! You said there was, there was a fire there recently? Yeah, there was a fire there recently, but your job is not to, like, focus on Your job on that. is to find the murderer. All right, so, okay, the fire and the murders are unrelated to each other. No. They're unrelated. They and could. Is it is it daytime or nighttime as we're getting into town? I said in the introduction, it was a dark and rainy night. Night. Okay. Thank you for clarifying. Night. Okay. So, as you walk in to Ashbutt, you see someone waddle and says, Hello, hello, hello. You new? My name is Branson. What's yours? Uh, Come again? Well, I'm sorry. What, what was your name? Branson. My name's Branson. Yeah. Branson. Frenzel. Frenzel. F O A N O W A L. Who are you? <laughs> Frenzel, nice to meet you. I'm Grim. Grim. Like a wild Grim. Like, like, uh, like the opposite of being happy, but I'm very happy. I'm a very joyful guy. Oh, I see, I see. So you're a wild. I'm, I'm a dwarf. Ah, oh, you're an elfish dwarf. Oh. Sure. And who is you, the funny-looking lady? <sighs> the, 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 this last is my is my friend Galaxy. So, oh. fra- so I got some questions about Francois. Is wh- what is she? He is it a he, he boy or a girl? Yeah, he is like he is a tiny guy, and he doesn't like to say what he is. So. Like the size. Well, of I, I should be able to tell by looking at him. Is he a halfling? Is he a gnome? He's very tiny, and he has a very 
Yeah. He's saying to no. Okay. He's like, and he talks in like an accent. An okay. accent. Okay, so. So is he, yeah, so no. I'm guessing he's a no. Can I, can I roll an insight check to see if I can figure that out? Sure. Or maybe a perception check? Sure. Do you have a preference? Um, probably insight. I got a 12. You're guessing it's a gnome, but you're still not quite sure. Okay, so a gnome with a question mark. Can I do it? Um, sure. 18. Okay, so Galaxy looks at it, and she and she can tell that it just looks like a gnome, but she's still not quite sure. All right. So then Francel asks you, well, it's very nice to meet you, Galaxy Ingram. Well, could you do a big town favor? Go and kill the no. beast up in the mountains, no. please. No. It's it's up there. The beast. No. No. So, question for you, Franzel. Yes? Is this, is this beast the, the one that's been causing the murders? No. It's just a beast has been trapped there for the town don't know. And he's still there. So, out of character, Bertie. Let's talk about this. So we just got into town, and we have a job to do. We're supposed to catch the murderer who's been causing some murders in this place, right? We're supposed to what, kill or catch? I think we should probably catch. Uh, we no would only, kill. only, only, only if we have to. Only if we're Unless he only in self defense. So, so now we got this. We got this new guy that's coming up to us from uh, from Ash Boot. Ash Boot. That. Who's trying to send us off in another direction? Do you think? Do you think we should go off in another direction? Go after this monster and help the town out, or do you think we should be focused on the murderer? Francis interrupts you and says, "There's two kids trapped there." Oh, oh, there's two kids trapped. So the monster. What, 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 okay, let me Tell get back into the this. The mountain is like so. He so Francis starts to explain the mountain. Like, it has, like, where you climb up, but then it, like, has a curve over. It's not a cave, but, like, it's a curve where it's, like, dry. Mm-hmm. And, it, that, and the dragon, it, well, not the dragon, <laughs> the monster is guarding the kids. And the kids are, like, in that area, and the monster is coming close up to him. Flint, so what, uh, what kind of monster are we talking about here? It looks like a puppy. <gasps> it, lo- it looks like it looks like a wee puppy. But the big, big, big. It's a, a big, big, big wee puppy. I want to, I want to have it. Well, that well, Please. well, if it's a big puppy, that sounds like this might be rather easy. So I say, Galaxy. There's that's three of them. <gasps> oh, there's three Yay! of them. Well, I don't want to kill them. I want to keep them as a pet. Well, that well, that should be fairly easy then. If they're even if there's three of them, they're puppies. Galaxy, what do you think? I think that we've got some time. Puppies, are you listening? Well, They're taller than you. Well, I'm a, I'm a dwarf. There's lots of things taller than me. <laughs> I know, but they're way, way taller. The, no. Are they taller than me? They're almost as tall as you. So, are, are you trying to talk me out of going on this mission <laughs> right now? Is that what's happening? Um, no, no, I just trying to warn you. I'm trying to warn you of how big this guy is. Okay. But I want to keep the puppy. Don't. <laughs> yeah, don't. I'm keeping it. Oh, we, we don't even have it yet. So let's let's and there's well and there's gonna be three of them. So right? where do you guys go? I'm putting it. Do you go up the mountain. <clears throat> well, it's it's nighttime right now. I'm I'm not thrilled about the idea of climbing up the mountain at night. So you want to take a short rest, quick? Well, I'm thinking that maybe we should go in the town and. Well, right now it's like sunrise. Oh, okay. So we so we were traveling at night and we were yeah. we arrived in the town just as the sun was rising. I can't. I can't. So I'm right now teddy. it's like a puppy. Right now it's like pretty high. the sun is pretty high up. okay all right well if if the sun is about to rise then i think that we should go into the mountains and deal with the monster and save the two kids you said two yes two i'd rather save the kids than the murderer because i really wouldn't want to save the murderer right well yeah, so we've we've got two jobs and we're getting we're getting a side quest right away. So let's let's yeah let's let's take care of the side quest. I, I'm I'm up for a good old monster hunt. How about you? Wait, do, do we have do we have ponies? Um, poke. No. Okay, so we're on foot. I want to have so do my you go dog. Up, do you go up the mountain? Totally. Yep, I'm going what up the mountain. Why should I name my 
dog. So you, <laughs> you don't have a dog yet. Let's you, one one step at a time. So you go up the mountain and you see Francis following you. Oh, Francis coming with us. Yeah. Oh, and it looks like he's taking out his. Um, it looks like he's taking out his pot. His pot. That's his only weapon. He has a pot for a weapon. Yes. <sighs> okay. So as you uh, head up the mountain. Hey, hey, hey Franco, uh, I, I appreciate you coming along with us, lad, but uh, I, th- I think that we could probably handle this on our own. No, 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 no. Uh, you could go, and I'll just stay there here. Well, no, no, Galaxy, you're, you're coming with us. No, no that, I it, just need to that, Well, I'll be in the crowd having backup, being backup. All right, well. Because there's, wait, a, there's, a, there's a crowd? Well, they're trying to, the soldiers are trying to get the kids. So, are there a bunch of soldiers with us, too? Well, most of the soldiers are too afraid. They're like, the last time I checked, they were hiding in a quarter. Okay. Um, so, all of the soldiers of the town of Ashboot are too scared to go up and face the monsters and get the kids then back. why are they so... Soldier. I can't say it. Soldiers. Soldiers. I always yes, said soldiers. Yes, that's, that's exactly. Yeah. Okay. Except for, except for uh, Francel. He's, he's brave enough to go up as long as he's with us. Yeah. Okay. But he's got a pot for a weapon. So, so Francel's not super bright. Well, he he, fe- he feels like a job is too much work. Uh, he feels like a job is too much work. So he'd r- he'd rather go adventuring. He's an aspiring adventurer. Yes. Rather, so rather than getting a real nine to five job, he he would rather go off and fight monsters with a pot. Yes. Okay. Oh, he is terrible weapon. Okay. So C- can, I, can I do like another insight check on on Francel just to see is he is he not so not so smart? Yeah. Me too. Um, um, he's smart, but he doesn't, he's pretty smart, but he doesn't know a lot of history. Okay. Can I, can I just do? He's smart, but he doesn't have a lot of education. I get it. Um, but as you guys climb up the mountain, as you're talking, you see it. Hey, Franzo. Do you have any, uh, do you have any, do you have any magic? Any magical items? Well, Um, I know you do. You're the resident wizard over here. I even have Um, I have this. Pot. Uh, um, yeah, I have this pot. The, is the pot magical? Um, yeah, it totally is. It is magical as my pee bucket. As your, as your <laughs> it's as magical as your pee bucket? Well, what, what's magical about your pee bucket? Because it is my pee bucket. It's magic. It's it's simply magical because it's your pee bucket. <laughs> hey, right. you want to see some okay, magic? So as right, you guys, remember, we got to keep this family friendly. As you guys head up the mountain, you see it. Three blink dogs. <gasps> oh, oh, he stayed up. Francel, are those the puppies? Those are the puppies. Yes, those are the puppies. Those are the puppies. Oh, what type of dog are? They? I want to see what type of dog they are. Well, she well she just said that they're they're blink dogs. Blink dogs. Yeah. What are blink? They're dogs? a type of monster. Actually, yeah. Um. Well, you said it so. Do you want us to roll maybe arcana checks to see if we know what blink dogs are? Because we, because I, I don't think we may, might not have ever encountered them before. Sure, I don't. Okay. Okay, for my arcana check, I got an eighteen. All right, so so Galaxy got a twenty-three, and I got a I got an eighteen. So we both got pretty good arcana checks. You have not dealt with one, but you've seen the people many times dealt with one. Okay. Once you started, okay, so when you will suddenly the dogs just look at you. How far away are they? Um, about twenty feet away. Or twenty feet away? Okay, so oh, they're, they're super close. close. Super close. Yeah, I'm, and I come up to them and try to pet them. So, so you go up to pet them. So I was going to ask, you, do they appear to be aggressive in any way? But then Galaxy immediately goes up and tries to pet them. <laughs> they are aggressively um, trying to get the kids. What do you think? Oh, the look? kids are with them. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's why they're trying. That's why so France is trying to convince you to go. Okay. Can we see a picture? Um, sure. So they look like that. Okay. How big? How big are they? Um, they're cute. They're. Um, they are a small beast. They're a small beast. Okay, so they they but, are like the size of dogs. But yeah, but to Francis, they're huge. Okay, okay. 
Okay. So that's where he's like, they're pretty big. Um, and so. So are the kid the kids that are with them? Are they are they crying and they're just being herded by the dogs? Or well, no, they're huddling in a corner when the dogs are going forward to them. Okay. But then when the, but when you guys come, when a galaxy starts to come and pet them, they turn. In, well, can you roll an initiative quick? Oh yes, my pleasure. I got a, I got a one for my initiative. <laughs> so you were so so grim. You were so surprised, and you. Do you mean investigation or initiative? Initiative. We're going into combat. You fall nine. on Francel, and then he falls. Well, nine. Oh, I nine, fall on Francel. And then Francel falls. Okay. I went a nine. Fran. So, 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 sorry, Francel. I just didn't expect the dogs to be there. So I imagine them. The like dogs this. go first, and they come in to attack you, Galaxy. Uh oh. What, what about uh, what about Francel? Francel's laying down because you're on him. Okay, so he's not gonna get to go. Um. So. Sorry, Francel. Um. So the dogs. They come and they try to wait. Does someone have a healing spell? Do you have a healing spell? I I do not have a healing spell. They try to bite you. <gasps> Roll and they hit. Well, <sighs> well, well. Hold on. Galaxy could do a reaction spell. She could do her shield spell, which would raise her armor class to 19. <gasps> Ice cream cake! So a magical shield comes in front of you. They miss. Okay. So but does she have to use her shield spell for them to miss? Yes. Okay. So Galaxy, that's a spell slot that you would use up. Uh, or you could take the hit. You could take the hit and the damage right now if, if you wanted to. No? Okay. So mark down that you used up that spell slot then. So a magical shield comes out, and the dog, but he's running towards you, ready to bite. So and he, right as you put the shield up, he bonks his head on it <laughs> and falls to the ground on his back. Yay! And but and he seems to have trouble getting up. Okay. Oh, so dog. he dazed himself a bit. Um. Now it's Francel's turn. Well, what about the other two dogs? The other two dogs, they are still distracted on the kids. Okay. But Francel comes up and he's like, he's slow and walking forward. He has his pot pee bucket. His pot pee bucket. And the pee pee. Wait, and wait. His, is his pot and pee bucket the same? <laughs> <laughs> he gives him a pee. He says he has to afford another toilet. Oh, and, and, this is, and he also uses this as his weapon. Yes. Okay. Um, so he chucks it at the dog. And Francel, no, that's your pee bucket. And he chucks it, and it just hits the wall. <laughs> he just misses. <laughs> Great. And it's now beautiful. one of the dogs are looking at him in a strange way. Ooh, so he got one of the dog's attention now. Yeah. Okay. okay, so Galaxy, it is your turn. I'm, I'm going to yell out to Galaxy. He's like, Galaxy, whatever you do, make sure you don't hit the children. I'm going to use the beautiful. Uh. Remember, you got sculpt spells. So if you, you could shoot them with a big old fireball. And yeah, you could sculpt fireball. it around. The, and you can make sure the children wouldn't get hit by it. The fireball. Because that would, that would hit all of them at the same time. I need an 86. Yep, roll 86. So same with this one. You have to roll a dexterity saving throw for the dogs. So how do you do that? All right, so you'd roll a d20. D20. And add their dexterity modifier to it. Dexterity. Okay, got it. What, what is the number? 14. 14. Galaxy, what is your spell save DC? It's at the top of your spell sheet. 16. And they got a 14? Mm -hmm. Okay, so that means that they missed. So that means that they take full damage from Galaxy's Fire. How much Whoa! damage is that? Roll 8d6. So, a si 8. Roll all, yeah, roll all of those twice. Oh. Okay, so that's 18. Do it again. 
Uh, that's uh, a, a 38? 30, 38 points I, of yeah, fire 30, damage. 30. 38. You kill a blink duck. <laughs> all, no! of, all of them take 38 points of damage. You kill all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go. Oh, no, that's right. You wanted a puppy. No! <laughs> wait, wait. Hey, you can sculpt the, the spell around one of the dogs. You could make it so that one of the dogs doesn't get hit. I did that. Okay. I did that. <laughs> one of the dogs are, they're bad. I can train it. Oh, fine. I'll get a real puppy. Well, <laughs> Do you do you have animal handling as a skill? Maybe we could maybe we can train it, even though they're evil. I have a plus one. You have a plus one in your animal handling. Uh -huh. I say we tr I say we try and save one and try Yay! and and try and try Let's and train do it. it. So okay, so yeah, Galaxy shoots out her fireball and she sculpts the spell around the children and one of the blink dogs. Are you serious? Yes, yes. I'm, I got a five. Well, you don't roll anything uh. for that. <laughs> What should we name him? Blinky. Blinky? <laughs> Yay! I'm the crazy one. <laughs> the wild card. Okay, so... Alright, so then it's, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, yes, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna run uh, up, I'm gonna run up and in a very soothing voice and be like, Hey, Blinky. Hey, Blinky. I'm gonna... <laughs> You, and I'm gonna use my my animal handling give to see if I blankie. can if I can calm Blinky down and be nice to I me. Give him a Blinky. The I rolled a uh, I rolled a ten on my animal handling. Blinky is just looking at you in a weird way and goes back to the kids. Blinky, <laughs> come here, Blinky, come she, here, boy. <gasps> and then come he kicks on! me. In the face. He kicks me in the face. <laughs> oh no! I think. How much, how much damage do I take from that? Well, I've got a very high armor class. I've got a 17 armor class. So he just he just push it like you step back a little. Like okay, so he tries to hit me in the face, but I get out of the way. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, so I want to I wanna try doing the animal thing. Well, are we are we still... I'm assuming that we're still in combat, technically, because we left one dog alive. Yes. So then... It's... Um, and I think the dogs would go next. So I think the, the blink dog would go next. Yeah. The no! Be nice. The blink dog is heading for you, Graham. Oh, no. And he it turns. I'm going to keep talking to it in a soothing voice. <laughs> it's like, it's okay, Blinky. It's okay, Blinky. He tries to bite you. What's your armor class? 17. He hits you. What? Oh, man. Blinky. Bad dog. Bad dog. And he does... Seven piercing damage. Seven, wow, that's a that's a pretty good bite. Oh, he's gonna be good at catching. Blinky! Prey. Bad dog! Now bad dog! Franzo, he runs and grabs his paw and Do I have a newspaper on me? No. No? Right in your how inventory. A, how about a spray bottle of water? He uh, Right in your inventory. He uh, he Franzo, it's his turn and he goes the end. He goes and tries to throw it at the one dog. His his pea pot? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and misses. Uh, of course he does. I have a water bottle. Y you have a water bottle? See? <laughs> Personally, I just would give up on Blinky. No! I don't, I don't no! want to give up on I don't want to give up on Blinky. What if... No! Okay, I, I think... I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try my animal handling one more time, no, and then if that fails, I'm going to. You're gonna try, okay? Okay. Yeah, because it's got. Let's do my bad skills. All right. Let's see your animal handling. That is a three. three. I don't know. <laughs> Guys, you go up to him. Bad skills indeed. <laughs> and he tries to kick you in no, the face. I'm doing it again. No. What? No. That. Well. Okay. I got fourteen. And that. Um, he looks at you and comes forward, but isn't doesn't seem like he's gonna attack you. Okay, so it's, Again! no, no, I think it's my turn now. Oh, I so, got a 19. All right, so I tried going the nice route with with Blinky. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna start I'm gonna start being gruff with him, like no. Blinky, bad dog, no, bad dog. No, no, no. And I'm gonna I'm gonna roll my animal handling again. 
Uh, that time I got an 18. He comes forward and Ooh. what do you? He seems really hungry. Seems really hungry. Okay, um, I'm gonna pull out some some food and uh, and give it to him. Do you want Do you want me to roll animal handling again? Yeah. I got a. That's a crit fail. So what do you get? I got a one. <laughs> so he then starts getting angry and takes the meat and goes back to the kid. Okay. No, blink! And I go up and I try to Galaxy, hug him. I think. <laughs> no, it's not him. And so, Blinky, Blinky is now going to try to attack the kid. Oh no! Oh, I think I think we got to give up on Blinky. No! Blinky is a bad dog. Or could I just buy a dog at the store down there? Well, yeah. Well, if they have a pet store, we'll see if we can we can buy a puppy. There's no pet store. No! <gasps> we we don't know that yet. We haven't been inside the town. Okay. Um, so he tries to bite them, and he goes, and he, and the kids, um, there, they run to, they run out of that area, because there's only one blink dog. Mm -hmm. Come to us! And they go where the crowd kind of came up for the rat because you were making a lot of noise. All right, so they run towards us. So uh, they, the kids run towards the crowd so they, so Link Dog can't find them. The, wait, wait, what crowd? I thought we came, I thought it was just the three of us no, that came up. Well, no, um, you guys are making so much noise that some people started climbing the mountain and, and <laughs> started forming crowd. Okay, so, okay, we were making so much noise that people from the town I think came up to see what we were doing. Wanting to do. So we're, so we're, wait, so, so did like the entire town just see me try and tame this blink dog yes. and try and give it food and fail terribly? Yes. Oh man. <laughs> oh man. Um, but, so the kids run to the crowd. Okay. Now the blink dog looks at you. Okay. Who's, okay, so, so whose turn is it now? He starts running towards you. All right. Like a hyena. So I think I think it's uh, Francel's turn again. So Francel grabs his pot <laughs> <laughs> and what? He, uh, goes behind the blink dog and uh, let me see here. And he tries to he tries to put it over his head, the blink dog's no. head, and but punches him with the pot instead. And now the dog is on his back. Okay. No! Now it is your turn, Galaxy. Animal handling. Wait, are you gonna, you're gonna try and do animal handling again? I'm, I'm terrible! She got a six. So the dog doesn't go to you. I'm doing it again! No, you can't. Okay, it's my turn now. All right, I'm thinking. <sighs> Poor Blinky. Blinky's a bad dog. No! <laughs> Can we get another diver <coughs> diversion of Blinky? All right. So I'm going to shoot Blinky uh, <gasps> with a spell called Eldritch Blast. And I get two of these. What's Blinky's armor class? Blinky's armor class is 13. All right, so the first one I got a 19, and then the second one I got a 10, so only the first one hits. So then Blinky is going to take nine points of force damage. Blinky looks very hurt, but he's still alive. Okay. Um, now it is his turn, but he doesn't feel that good, and he just sits there eating his food that you gave him. <laughs> so after I, I shoot him with this Eldritch Blast, he's still... He's like... Oh, wait, no, no wait. Oh, I'm sorry. Are we talking about... This is, is it the dog or is it uh, Francel's turn now? It's the dog. It's the dog. And okay. that's what he did for his turn. All right. So so after I shoot him with this Eldritch Blast, he still ignores me and goes back to eating the food I gave him. Yes. Okay. But he, he must have been really look, hungry. He does not look that well. So what Francel does is he comes over... His pot is now a little dented. He's so mad. Well, he's been throwing it all over the place. He hasn't been taking very good care of it. And he punches the dog. With <gasps> the pot. Yes. He goes 
and it hits the ground and hurts his knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try it, Francel. You'll get him next time. So, Is Galaxy, it it's your turn. Are you doing animal handling again? <laughs> she really wants this dog. Yeah. So the, you make you the dog ig ignores you. Now it's your turn. All right. Room. I'm gonna I'm gonna hit him with uh, Eldritch Blast again. Okay. Uh, the first one is a critical miss. Okay. And the second one is a unnatural twenty. So I hit the second one. Okay. Uh, and he would take six more points of force damage. And is there is there anything funny or hilarious that happens with that critical one that I rolled on the first attack? So you go and hit the ground. <laughs> okay. And you go. <laughs> Just want to make sure that uh, didn't hit anyone else by accident or hurt myself in any Please way. Please don't kill him. I just want to have a turn so to So now it is his turn. And he looks super hurt. He... Eats his food more. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then uh, Francel. Is it Francel's turn? Yeah. What he does is with his pot, hits him in the belly because he's lying on his back right now. Okay. And... I get the feeling that this, this blink dog is really taking it easy on us. No. He's probably just like... Or is it just because of all the animal handling you've done? You've softened him up. So, when he goes and throws his pot, and you hear up, and you see the handle on his pot, aka pee bucket, broken. <gasps> oh no, his pee bucket Yay! got broken. So now it is your turn, Galaxy. <laughs> <laughs> That's an eight. <laughs> For animal. <laughs> For anim yep, she she keeps trying to do the animal handling. The dog is still eating his food. Okay, <sighs> my turn. All right, I think it's it's time to, to put I, this dog down. If I get a natural twenty, will you let me be? Will he be nice? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna run over and I'm going to uh, touch the dog and use vampiric touch. No! On the dog. Um, so, and you do. And then I do. Okay. I do eight points of necrotic damage. He looks super bad. And he drops his food and is lying still. But he's not dead? No. He's just he's just on the ground. I just hurt him really bad. And that was his action. Okay. Um, Francel, what he does is with his with his handle, he stabs him in the stomach. The handle of the pot stabs him in the stomach. He stabs him with the broken handle. Yeah. Oh man. Oh. And he kills the blink. <gasps> he killed Blinky. <laughs> <laughs> Blinky. He was gonna be my pet forever till he dies or I die. He died. He died. That's Poor all. Blinky. Yes, finally I've killed someone with my pot. Mm -hmm. Oh, the kids. How are the kids? So the kids, well, the kids and their parents, they go home. They don't want to be in this situation anymore. Okay. Um. So Is that then Francel, so Francel says, so you got a, a, a mystery? The mystery? Uh, the murderer? Murder mystery, yeah. The murder mystery, yes, yes. We're, that we were hired and came here to solve that. So I'll get you a new pot. How about that? So, this might help you in the mystery. The last time that the cops or anyone saw the murderer, he was in Miss Tissel's house down Laurel Road. Miss Tissel? Miss Tittle's house. Miss Tittle's house. That was the last place? That was the last murder? Well, that's the last time that anyone saw the murderer. Oh, so someone actually saw the murderer. Yeah. Okay. But and what street is that on again? Laurel Road. L-O-U-R-A-L. Laurel Road. Okay. So do you guys go down the, to Miss Tittle's house? Yes. Let's, yeah, let's go to Laurel Road and to Miss 
Tittle's house. Oh, before we do that, though, um, I did want to ask uh, Francel. So, if people saw the murderer, did did they get a good look at him? Did they? Could you describe what he or she looks like? So, in the, the newspaper, which had a big article about the murderer, they the person said it just he wore a black clo- a long black cloak and was very fast. How tall was he? Yeah. Was very short, they say. Was he very good looking? Well, the people they couldn't get a glimpse of him, really. So they don't know if he, if he was a handsome dwarf like myself or if he was a, a not so good looking elf. Ooh! Um, <laughs> I'd say more like a not so good elf. A not so good looking elf, huh? Yeah. Right. But they said only one. But this is one sign that they could say. They could see an ear, and it, it was not pointed, so. Oh. So it was not an elf. So it wasn't an elf. Hmm. Phew. Okay, so. But I better be getting home. My wife is expecting me. You have a wife? Alright, uh, Francel, it, uh, where, where can we get a hold of you if we have more questions? Um. The. No more questions tonight, please. But tomorrow from 1 o'clock in the morning to 7 o'clock in the afternoon, I will be wandering in town. <laughs> okay, so we'll just wander around in town to find Francel. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, probably oh, wait. See you. you probably so, oh, will see me at the, uh, the bakery. That's I I own the bakery. Okay. So, if we need, so if we need to go hold of... Oh, he owns a bakery. Okay. So you'll probably see me at the bakery if you want to get a hold of me tomorrow. All right, or if we need some some bread. Yes, and I have bread. Oh, there, <laughs> there's a, there's a sale for um. If you get one, you get two free, two free. Actually, Buy one, uh, you get two free. Yes, that's a really good sale. We gotta hit that up. I don't want to pass that up. But I want to um, get some sourdough bread. I'm I'm going to sleep right now. Okay. Is there a pet shop? So I want to do an insight. I think maybe more of an investigate. Investigation. So what, while we're going through town to. Miss Tittle's house. We're going to investigate to see if there's a pet shop. <laughs> Nineteen. I got a. I got a five. So you, Grin, don't see anything. But Galaxy, yeah. you see an animal in a store, but no more animals in there. Is it a puppy? Um, no. It's um, it is a lizard. <laughs> <laughs> it's an iguana. <laughs> So when you I see a wild when dog, you guys over. reach Miss Tittle's house. She's inside. Gal- okay. What do you guys do? I'm gonna gonna knock on the door. Do you, and I'm gonna yell. Do you have a dog? Have so Miss Tittle answers the door and she says, "Who are you? Do um, you have a dog?" <laughs> 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 no. Why would I have a dog? Who are you? Are you? I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna no. hold up my hand and I'm going to cast minor illusion to make it look like that I'm holding a very official looking badge. I'm like, Miss, I'm uh, I'm Officer Grimm. I am with the investigative unit of uh, Ashboot. I'm here to to ask you some questions about the uh, about the murderer. Well, I'm supposed to have some investigators named Galaxy and Grim come to investigate my house for any clues. Yes, that's me. I'm, I'm sorry. Galaxy. I go. I I'm go Galaxy. by Grim. I'm, I'm Galaxy. Oh, oh. So you guys are the murderer finders. Yes, yes we are the murderer finders. Ooh, we're not I, murderers. We, fi- we, fi- we find murderers. That's that's what we okay, do. Okay, so what, it's a, why it's a pleasure to meet you. I have not touched anything except my bed. So you can go ahead and check my place out. Um, but. I was not here during the murderer when the when I, when someone saw him. I was out somewhere at the bakery. <gasps> oh, you 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 were at the bakery too. So you do See, you? There's a wonderful sale. <laughs> we heard about that sale. We need to make our way over there as soon as we can. Yeah. Oh, but they they close at six thirty, and right now it's like seven o'clock. Oh. oh. Okay, so we need to solve yeah. this murder before they clo- before they open in the morning. We need to get over for that sale. Yeah, I love them. Tomorrow they say is the last day for sale. That's that, that's that's why we have to f- solve this murder right away. Okay, so you guys can go out. I'll just be in the kitchen. All right. Okay. All right. So, 
Uh, I want to investigate. I'm also going to so, do... So do we know, did the murder take place in a particular room inside this woman's house? So you investigate? Yep. Okay, so... Just in general, or um, do you want us to be more specific with that? Um, so 21. I'm just going to kind of... So you guys... you 21. For, first, do you guys first want to go up to her room where... Did I say she? Had, there's a lot of blood in her room. No, you didn't. Oh, no. so there's a lot of blood in her room. Okay. Do you want to go to her room? Yes. Duh. So you go up to your her room and you investigate. Yep. I got a twenty-one. So I got a uh, critical miss. I rolled another one on my investigation. So galaxy. So do do I go into like the wrong She's bedroom for my investigation? I I go into the guest bedroom where the murder did not happen. Well, you look, there's a face. So you go into the guest bedroom and you say, <laughs> there's nothing here. And she's like, are you in the guest bedroom? And there's a big sign saying guest best bedroom. And I go, hi. Well, search in the bedroom if you will, please. Okay. Can, can, can I do another investigation check I'm then? Gonna I'm okay. going to explain something to you. Okay. So Galaxy, there's nothing in there. what you do um, is you find a knife with what? blood all over it. What I think you, you found the murder weapon. Miss Tittle comes up and she says, Oh my! What is that? I found this. Uh, um, you should probably go to um, IOP. That's where they investigate like um, Ooh, fingerprints. Yeah, and stuff like that. IOP? IOP. IOP. Do you know who so I'm is IOP? That's like Ash Boots um, crime scene investigation unit. Yeah, that's where they, wow, they do all the sciencey stuff. Kills. So, but as Miss Tittle and Galaxy are talking, Grim, you feel a weird thing crawling all over your feet. I'm gonna look at my feet, and you see a crawling claw. What? Climbing your foot. Oh no! So these, so clunk claws. These are like the the dis, dismembered, undead hands, right? Yeah. Well, are they pretty weak? Um. Is it just one? It's just one. Okay. So it's just yeah, it's just a dismembered, undead, gross-looking hand that's it's like, crawling. Oh, really right it's now. the zombie's hand that I killed. No, he no, no, it's me. Not. no. Okay, so <laughs> what do you do? Um, and these guys are fast, okay? I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot it with an Eldritch Blast. So. Do you want me to? Ro should we roll initiative before I do that? No, it's, that's good. Okay, so I'm just gonna shoot it. Uh, I got a twelve. You hit. Okay. Let me roll the damage for this one. Uh, that would be uh, nine points of force damage. And if it's not dead, I'm gonna shoot it again. So. Because I get two shots with this. So it. It falls on the floor, dead. Okay. But what it it looks like? It I'm surprised really how good. fast you kill that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because if you if you miss, then it'd be more fun. Thank you. So. But I didn't miss. Up top. Thanks. <laughs> um. So. Then. Okay, Galaxy. Can you give me a hand? <laughs> Take it. So then this little comes and says, Well, that's enough danger today. Hope you guys solve the mystery. One one question for you, uh, for Miss Tittle. Who died? Yeah, who was murdered in your house? Well, they say James Bonch, but James Bonch. He wasn't that important in this town. But no one knows the murderer, and the murderer is what everyone's kind of wanting to know about. So. What, what was James Bonch doing inside your house? He he comes to, he doesn't have a job, but he comes to clean my house and earn money. And it was night last night when mm. it happened. And when I got back, I saw his body and... The people, the neighbors saw the guy in the black cloak. Was his hand gone? They couldn't see. But. So if we wanted to take a look at 
uh, Mr. Bunch's body. He's already buried. Oh. Can we go and unbury it? Oh, no, the police are, they say, well, the rules here, they say once you're buried, you're buried. I think then we need to go talk to the, the folks at IOP. So, well, one last question, oh. Miss Tittle. Yes. Is your home normally infested with creepy crawly hands like this? Um, no. Do you have any idea where this thing came from? Well, they're assuming that this it was they're his assuming hand. that the murderer had this monster who could run fast and well the um I found two but I killed one of them and it, I guess he set had two to kill like James Bond. Okay. Um, but I really think you should go to Eye Up. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna pick up the the hand, and I'm gonna put it in my bag. Okay. <laughs> so, do you, you go to Eye Up, right? Yeah. Before we go to Eye Up, I have <sighs> a great little spell. Um, to summon my familiar. So a familiar is a little animal that does my bidding and can fly around because he's an owl and he can, he can keep a lookout for me. So I'm going to call my, my familiar. His name is demon, by the way, I'm going to call demon out, out of thin air. And so then he'll show up on my hand and I'm going to bring him to the window and tell him, demon, fly around, see, and come back and tell me if you see anything uh, out, uh, out fishy. of... Yeah, anything fishy. Anything out of the ordinary that uh, you think uh, may be related to the murder. Or so. handy. Or, or <laughs> see, tell me if you find it, see anything handy. <laughs> so, demon flies around and comes back and just shakes his head. Okay. There's nothing out of... It. So you guys go to I up. Yep. And I'm gonna t- and I'm gonna tell Demon to keep flying around us and just just keep an eye out for okay. us. So you enter into I, and this guy walks forward to you and says, "Hello, I'm Jeff. How can I help you?" Hi, Jeff. I'm Grim. Ugh. Okay, so oh, that name. And uh, and this is my colleague Galaxy. We're here investigating the murderer. Yes. Okay. So. Jeff, what do you do here? I. Uh, and I scan things to see fingerprints and stuff. Okay. Oh, will we have something for you? <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to scan that? Yeah. Yes, by please. the way, what, what, not the murderer. What, what can you tell us about this creepy crawly hand we found? It attacks me. Ah! Well, those... I bet it really they has. Come, they don't come from people, but they are... They are... Someone, a person sends them to do a job, and they will not do anything until they do that job. Hmm. Is there and, any way to tell what the job was? Well, the police, they found one from Mr. Tittle's house. That's where you found the other one? Okay, yes. okay so they thought that the murderer sent these guys, the two class to go and kill James Bond. I think that the hand it has a lot of fingerprints that you have to scan. <laughs> oh, Galaxy, I gotta hand it to you. That was a good joke. I didn't even try. Let's get, should we should we give her a hand? Get a hand? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's well, the joke. That's uh, the joke. Oh, in my boy. history, I deal with a lot of those, and they don't have fingerprints. There's no fingerprints on, on no, the creepy crawly hand. No fingerprints, no. Hmm. Oh. Uh, like, they won't show up on anything. But I will... But so it's a hand! I, I, I could scan the, that knife you found. <gasps> yes! Yes. I'll give it out again. Okay, so I will just quickly scan this. Oh. Oh, dear. Oh, what? What do you guys do? Well, we, we hand him the knife because we want him to no, scan No, I know, the knife. but, like, he says, like, when he so he, so he says okay so I quickly just scan this so he scans it oh 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 dear. what's the matter what's Jeff what's the problem um the fingerprints that showed up um 
are Francis. What? Dungeons and Dragons and Daughters is a proud member of the Black Party Podcast Network. Check out our other shows such as the Dungeon Masters Block, the GM Showcase, Geek Wars, and more. <laughs>